you know. Brandon, Red Lobster <laughs> Life lost eight billion, eight million. <laughs> how? how? I know how, but you know. what do you mean? You know how? <laughs> Are people still going to Red Lobster like they used to? Yep. You they lost eight. It, eight it depends. It depends. Okay. Now, give me two scenarios how you think they lost the money. Why I try to look it up so I can people will think I just pulled it out of I don't. I don't think. I don't think as much uh, people are going to Red Lobster like they used to. I'm not sure when they had their fall off, but just like people not even trying to go to Cheesecake Factory, so you're definitely not going to go to Red Lobster. When's the last time you seen somebody post a Red Lobster picture? And I'm not saying this because I've had food from Red Lobster. There's nothing wrong with Red Lobster, but people feel like it's just not a good idea to go to Red Lobster. I used to deliver, you know, I used to uh, deliver for Budweiser. I used to deliver to Red Lobster and I saw the staff in the kitchen and how many people used to be in there and, and their orders were very small. Like people just stopped kind of going to Red Lobster. There's nothing wrong with the food. It's just nah, people are just not doing it no more. They came for this. Uh, all <laughs> well, that'll, that'll ruin it. <laughs> and I've been, I've, I've gone to have this. I think last couple of times I've been to Red Lobster, I tried to get the unlimited shrimp. You tried but to get the unlimited shrimp? Yeah, yeah. But let me, let me hear what happened because I kind of don't. Right. Go ahead. It's a scam. This is what happened. Ahead. Now they must change it because while I was there, they you couldn't get all you could eat. They you couldn't do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, well so oh. what is the report saying? Because I tried to do the same thing. All right, all you can eat shrimps. They said people go there and eat too many shrimps. <laughs> yeah. So they keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming uh. back, and they've been losing, losing, losing money. Uh. So they thought doing all you can eat shrimp, people come in there and get other stuff. Right. Nah. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Cause why would you? Why would you? You think I'm gonna get the ultimate feast? Was about thirty four dollars, or I'm gonna get? Uh, oh, the cap. What the name saw with the captain? Captain boy is all fried. Oh yeah, I thought you meant yeah, captain, yeah, the captain's boil or something. Yeah. Like that. Was, no, it ain't no boil. No, no, it's, no, it's not boil. What is captain, it? It's, like, um, it's something like that. I can't. Oh, I can't no. think yeah, what it for thirty something dollars, all fried <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but see, but see, when I went and got the um unlimited shrimp, you know, you'll be like, all right, I want to get three different kind of shrimp. I think that's how they did it. Then when uh -huh. they bring it out you'll eat it or whatever and then you know you'll be like all right i'm ready for my next shrimp and they're like okay all right we'll be right back and then they'll come back a little bit later they'll be like all right let me go ahead and take the, your next order and then they go off and then 10 minutes later go by they'll say it's almost up you know it's just like they try to you know, make you wait you know wait wait it out they ain't gonna bring it back to back to back so that's how they used to do it with me but here's the thing your first plate come out there, <laughs> you be having like five shrimps, right? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And then you wait your 10 minutes, like I agree. Yeah. Next plate be four shrimps. <laughs> <laughs> then you wait your 10 minutes. Then right. it be third, then your final, then an hour later. Let me get another one. They just uh -huh. one strip on the day of play. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I think uh, TGI Fridays or Applebee's has some kind of all, all unlimited something. Cause I, I remember doing that uh back in the day too. Like it's nothing wrong with that kind of eating, man. I hate, I hate people got so fancy where they can't you can't just go down to these regular restaurants and eat some good food for a good price. I think people got got away, got away from that kind of stuff. But Timothy said black women can eat some shrimp. Anybody can eat some shrimp and crap. <laughs> and I got a feeling with these new with these new young people waiters, they didn't uh, know the game how to do it. What you mean? So what is oh you want some more uh shrimp uh let's <laughs> we'll start with uh, scampi, scampi. Uh, shrimp scampi yeah yes <laughs> you know okay and then it'll come it'll come in five minutes you can't do that no uh, -uh. like what Brady said we had to wait ten minutes <laughs> and you, you try to put it in early you try to be like I'm almost done and they're like ah <laughs> you're like yeah. when it, once you finish then I'll come back and take the plate and then you can try to order some more so it's a game and they gotta be that way because. Is shrimp cheap? Is that is that a cheap item? No, shrimp is pretty expensive. It's not the most expensive thing, but it's pretty expensive, and it's easy to eat shrimp. And so, they, now, they shrimp is cheap. <laughs> well, it's, it's not the most expensive shrimp, especially popcorn shrimp or something like that. But so, it, it's, <laughs> what they did to do now, I remember last time I had all you eat shrimp, it was fifteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, then it went to twenty, then it uh -huh. went to twenty two, then it went to twenty five. Mm -hmm. If I was them, let's pop that thing up to 30. <laughs> and people will still people still go if you're gonna get it back to back. Kind of like some yeah. of those uh seafood buffets down here in Myrtle Beach. Um, you know, you you do the all you can eat crab legs in buffet, and you just have to wait till they bring some more out. And somehow they do good as far as uh sales and stuff where they can afford to do that. I don't know how it worked, but people can tear up some crab legs. Do you agree? I think it's just easier to eat shrimp. So I don't think it's a good idea to do unlimited shrimp, for, especially for red lobster. People can tear up crab legs. And if it's all you eat crab legs, they're not eating the cluster at the bottom. 
<laughs> which you is know. good meat in there, but you know, not you all you eat. <laughs> I ain't, <laughs> ain't skimming off that dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but at the house, I tear that thing yeah, up. Right, C- correct, <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct. Yeah. But if you if you had all you eat, you just cracking them uh them legs. You ain't worried about all the other stuff. Yeah. And plus, plus at them places, they're not gonna check your plate, so you you good to go. You you can just go go back and get another plate. So that's funny though. But yeah, Red Lobster lost uh, eight, eight or six million dollars off off this deal. Jeez. So, yeah, guys, I was gonna let you know, man. Uh, the price of fast food now, fast food McDonald's costs you fifteen dollars. It does. You can go to Applebee's and get you something for thirteen. <laughs> it'd be and, a and, whole lot better. A whole lot better, and it'll fill you up. You know, not not like that fake filler, because you know these buffets and unlimited stuff. They'll put MSG and some other stuff on there. You feel like you're full, and you don't want any more. But what's if I, wrong with MSG, Brandon? Not, nothing's wrong with MSG. <laughs> well, probably something is wrong with it. But <laughs> oh, besides, you know, <laughs> right. what's wrong with that? I wanted to buy right. stuff. Right. I I don't want necessarily stuff sprinkled on my food that's not ne- not necessarily what I need for my food. That's that's all I'm gonna say. You like Chick Fil A, right? Yeah. So they got that in. <laughs> they, uh, most places do. <laughs> most places do. Oh. Aluminum, all kind of stuff. But I was just talking to my wife. Well, she said this a lot, but how Chick Fil A, the, the the chicken patty is not good for you. They got aluminum in it, and you know, it's just a lot of that stuff causes cancer. So. <laughs> you know what, what I had last week? What? I had a Popeyes chicken sandwich, man. How was it? Uh, that thing was good. Mm-hmm. I, that thing was good. <laughs> now it took about fifteen minutes to get my fries, and they forgot about me. Yeah, but, I've had bad experience with Popeyes. Every time I go, either like they don't have what I want, or it's just take a too long, or it's just always an issue. But what people do you go want, back. Brennan? What do you want? They got. I can't remember. Biscuits. They. I wanted them little fake, a uh, fake cheap shrimp that they got. I think I tried to get a tackle box one time. They was like, <laughs> <laughs> they had one of the sides of so I was like, I want to get some rice. They was like, we ain't got no rice. No, like, no, they'll do. It's all the fries, <laughs> mashed potatoes, <laughs> and sweet but, coleslaw. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I nice. forgot we did them all. <laughs> right. I think we did a video on that. That's that's funny. But like and I said, yeah. well, why I used to be a manager, I bring that Popeye's chicken board of boys. Actually, it'd be good to be boy, they be eating <laughs> that shit up, man. Right. Because the matters before me brought that that pizza. Mm. You know, pizza's good. You know, pizza good sometimes. But it makes people happy for sure, but it's you know. If I don't come with some, <laughs> some big chicken breast or <laughs> and some biscuits as a sweet tea. Now, and which that- one? Which I would go with that like? because we're from the south. I, I would go with the chicken and biscuits. I I just think that's a better. That it just symbolizes something different. And you know, people for some reason they like eating chicken and the biscuits be on point anyway. Pizza, you, it's it's all right. And you got a plate. You got a plate of food like you was at the house. And it smell good. I think yeah. that smell that smell <laughs> over a pizza smell good. You feel like you had a family gathering or something like that. So yeah, I, I can see that. And it's probably cheaper. Like if you get a bunch of pizzas, that that can add up. You about the same price? I don't think so. It might uh, be. It, it'd be the same price. The chicken, well, now chicken is high, but this is maybe 2019. The chicken just took a little more because mm, it, it came you. in bags. And they had the Popeyes when you get like big teas, they put the tea in a big plastic bag. <laughs> and I had to say, I need some cups. Give me some cups. <laughs> right. And they don't have a problem with that either. They yeah. need whatever you need. They, it's like they'd be excited sometimes when you have a big order. They'll give you extra napkins and all kind of stuff. Yeah. And then with the uh, Indian lady, I said, I ordered all this $74. I said, throw a free apple pie or whatever apple pie you there. <laughs> and it did and then it. she yeah, started right. doing She come with the apple pie. <laughs> she, I'm coming there and get two 30 pieces. No, no, <laughs> hell no. Wait. Wait, hold on. How much did you just get? But that's what I said. pieces. And I, I, I get I, enough that some of the guys could bring some food home to their family. Some of them. I got you. I got Not you. all of them. You know, some people be like, they be running low on money. Right, but well, that's so, good. You you was always a good manager from the stories that you told how you girl. deal with people. So I already have I've I've said uh, I won't say his name. Hey man, we got some extra chicken in there. <laughs> I I know your girls like the donuts we brought this morning. Now go and get right. yourself. Right, and, you get and people up. appreciate that kind of stuff. Yeah. Those those small gestures they may cost you money, but the performance will speak for itself, and it'll make you look good as a manager. So. Brandon, the company was moving twenty million dollars in and out. What did two chicken wings go cost? <laughs> huh? But but all companies don't do that kind of stuff. They they don't care about that stuff. They don't care about the people on the bottom. They running into the ground. Well, yeah, yeah. That and that was only doing uh, inventory. Mm. You do four times a year. The other times a year, the reward system. People do good. You get them award. 
right. uh, sometimes a gift card, but people mess that up because some managers in another spot wouldn't give a guy a raise, Brandon, mm -hmm. but paid them in gift cards. Is that legal or illegal? <laughs> is that ethical? No, it don't. You see, but like I said, you can do things the right way, but you're not going to get ahead. You can do things the wrong way and seem like you can get ahead. Like, like you told me, should I have hired that uh, Mexican lady that couldn't speak English? She had a she uh she could fill out an I-9 form <laughs> with no problem. Possibly with some help. But like I said, that's that's America for some or, reason. Then I, six days a week. Right, right. She'll be in there for real. You know, not on the not on the phone, not on social media, not just in there working. Oh, she's gonna have a phone in the backpack now. It's 2022, 2023. So what are they gonna be on? She's gonna be talking to somebody on the phone or she no, Brady, you know the, the ass gonna be this big. <laughs> <laughs> and that phone gonna be in the back pocket, bro. right? You're right, but is she gonna be on it? Is she gonna be on social media and stuff like that? If she if she ain't doing if all the tasks is done, she'll flip that phone out. Okay, but probably won't be on no social media. Okay, and that's why I say I don't, I don't think she will be doing that. But yeah. that, there are a lot of issues that's facing the black community, from relationships between mother and father, and the failure of passing down standards, integrity, and duty, from the lack of education or the debt load from higher education. Go to school, they say, but no opportunity on graduation day. From incarceration to low skill occupation that marches in gentrification. Well, the time has come. It's time for a change. My book, From Zero to 200K, will outline the steps I use to change my social and economical status. Learn the steps I took to lower my expenses. Learn the steps I took to increase my income. Learn the steps I took to increase my credit and keep a good credit score. Learn about how I generate wealth. Most importantly, how I got God involved in my life. By the time you finish this book, you'll be ready to control your finances with a renewed vigor, knowing that you can accomplish your goals if you apply yourself and make good decisions over the long term. From zero to 200K, what faith, relationships, strippers, jobs, college, hustles, and heartbreak taught me about finance is a must read for every black person in America. Hit the link below and let's get to work.